Halftime here in Great Bend has Barton on top of Dodge City for Hall of Fame Day, 48 to 36. Halftime brought to you by Next Tech. Cole Rife on top here at the Kirkman Center. And joined now to my left by Jimmy Graham. He was one of the four inductees earlier this afternoon that started up at 2 o'clock on the lower level here at the Kirkman Center. And just a quick background on Jimmy before we get to that interview. As Jimmy, I mean, he was part of that 1977 season that won the first ever Jayhawk West Division Conference title, originally from McFarland. Person. You look at some of his numbers that he put up. He averaged 23 points per game in a single season. That ranks fifth in the history of Barton Community College. And his two-year average of just about 18 points per game currently ranks six. He shot 74% from the charity stripe in a Cougar uniform and also still ranks in the top five and attempted and made tosses in his career. Went on to play at Newman University as well and a successful career after that part as well. But bringing back here to Great Bend, Jimmy Graham and member of that 1976-78 those years here in Great Bend and talk about what it was like for you when you found out that you're inducted into the Hall of Fame for Barton Community College. Cool. Wow, it was uh, quite the call to get from Trevor when uh, when he started talking about everything that was going to happen and, and realized that yeah, I had some success, but my success was as a result of the team. So I brought some, some things to the court. Each and every other player brought something to the court. Coach Miller knew how to tie it together, if you will. So he, he brought us in such a way that we complemented one another. He taught us how to work hard. He taught us how to play together. He taught us how to leave it on the court. And coming from McPherson, where we had lots of success, it was expected. So I, I didn't think anything else different could happen. And so you develop those, those traits. You, you have that positive attitude. And then an opportunity to come back and relive those. It, it's really been a great day. It was an interesting story earlier this afternoon during the ceremony on how you were recruited to come to Barton. Because <laughs> tell, us, tell us that story where it seemed like at the time you weren't getting very many right. opportunities. Yeah, so back in the 70s, uh, recruiting was a, was a whole lot different. They didn't necessarily come out to you. What they would do is they would send you letters. And if you'd fill them out and send them back, then they would begin that conversation. For whatever reason, my basketball coach in high school uh, didn't give me those letters that had started coming in as early as my freshman year in high school. So in late April of, of my senior year, I get a box, and in this box is over 225 letters from universities and colleges across the United States. And, you know, I'm wondering why I'm not being recruited, and nobody told me. I didn't know. Nobody taught me those things or told me what to expect. And I started opening these letters, and at that time I wanted to go play K-State. Um, you know, Jack Hartman had led a, a pretty successful program up there, and I thought that's where I wanted to go. And, oh, there's a letter from K-State. Too late. Everything had already been filled. They had already recruited. They had no openings. And it was like, oh, man. Within a week, maybe two, I get a call from Coach Miller. And he says, um, have you signed a letter of intent yet? No. So he says, well, I'm the new coach at Barton County, and I need, you to be, I need you to come play for me so we can be successful. Okay, sign me up. Because I didn't know what I was going to do. Lauren Miller, your coach at that time, he had a really kind of good story about that 77 season and bringing all these guys in. Most of them were Kansas boys and a lot of them from right in this region. And you're talking about the, you know, the cement floor here at the Kirkman oh, Center yeah. at the time. What was it like playing for Barton at that time? Yeah, so when we come in and, and realize there wasn't a strong winning history here at that particular time, but we were called, you know, the I, uh, or, uh, Interstate 50, and it's not Interstate, but Highway 56, because there was there was Steve, there was uh, there was there was myself, there was Alan Clark, there was Rob Bowman, and and there's Tommy Ray, and all local kids, Kansas kids. We just wanted to play and win, and so when we come in and, and pulled it together, it was it was just one whale of a ride, and being a part of that that whole season and the just the, the excitement that came not only from us as players but the students, the um, the community, uh, the booster club. There was 
if there was one seat open, <laughs> those entire games, home games, I'd be surprised it, because it was packed, always packed, and it was like, wow, people cared and supported, and it, 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 it creates a certain level of adrenaline when you do that as well. So, Finished off a Barton career, then went on to Newman University. Talk about what you've been able to accomplish after leaving Newman. So um, I left Newman and um, had, had a health challenge, uh, my appendix ruptured. So uh, it was just during a time uh, shortly after college that I was still in great physical shape. Uh, got sick and um, had, a, had a time of realizing that um, life is short. So um, when I was operated on the first time, uh, I was full of gangrene and I survived. The doctor said there's no way he's going to do it. There's no medical reason why I'm alive today. And I'm telling you it's because I believe uh, that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. So I'm a man of faith. And so every day since then has been, okay, I'm just going to live my life to the fullest possible. So I have uh, gotten my master's degree. I work in technology. I worked here at Barton for 11 years. I uh, got my master's degree while I was here. I went to Southern Arkansas University, uh, ran the technology department down there for three years, and then went to um, University of Central Missouri, where the mules and the jennies are. And I've been there 19 years, got my doctor's degree, and uh, now I lead the technology program there. And so it has been a case of a lot of what I've learned on the court, I apply now because my team, instead of being a team of players, is a team of people taking care of technology, taking care of students, taking care of faculty and staff. So it's been a it's been a great journey, um, and there wasn't anything I could change about it. But again, as a man of faith, looking back and saying there are reasons why that coach kept that box of letters, and I'm convinced that so that he could teach me things through Coach Miller that has set the stage for my life. Very good stuff, Jimmy. Congratulations. Thank you, Cole. I appreciate it very much. That is Jimmy Graham, one of four inductees earlier this afternoon. We'll talk with his teammate on that 1977 team, Steve Griffin, right after this on B1043, the point.